Anthony Lewis. I'm the uh, co-founder and medical director of iSimulate. Uh, it's been five years since we launched ALSI and really changed the way that a lot of people do simulation across the world. Uh, so five years later, we want to do something different. So we're going to bring you reality. And um, I'm just going to walk you through what reality does. One of the key things that we wanted to actually do is to um, make our display just like a real monitor. So this is obviously mimicking a Zoll X series, and you can see it looks pretty much identical to what a Zoll X series would look like. And in the future, in the next couple of months, we're going to be adding many more different ones. One of the key things that we've, what, we, what people have asked for is dynamic 12 lead ECGs, and we can now do that. So we're going to have a whole library of dynamic 12 lead ECGs. And being able to control that, we've really updated the whole control panel. So this is a, a mock-up of what it's going to look, look like. And we've gone for dials. Dials are really cool things to use. They're easy to move. You can tap anywhere on the dial to move it. It offers very quick control, and it offers very fine control, all built in, built in to the same device. As people will know from using ALSI, we can use um, videos, images, x-rays, and so on. So what we decided to do is to really update this and to create our own patient EMR. So this is an example of the patient electronic record we're going to have. And as you can see, we could be able to, dis to display images such as chest x-rays, CT scans, ECGs, and so on. And as more results come through to the student, this will update and they get more information as it comes through. So this is all work in progress and this will d develop as we, as we go along. Another key element with reality was we really wanted to start to introduce video debriefing into our systems. And by just by tapping on the recording button here, we can set this iPad off. So this iPad is our video debriefing iPad. And as you can see, it's been set into Padcaster. Now, Padcaster is a, is, a, is a device that's actually you can buy online. And what Padcaster has is a fantastic mount for the iPad to keep it very secure and a wide angle lens. Obviously, it's got a high quality microphone as well. Now, what this iPad is doing is actually quite clever. It's been able to d display the scenario that you're filming record it on the iPad and stream it at the same time to Apple TV. So essentially, the students who are watching this in another room can now see what's happening. We've gone away from picture in picture. We don't like picture in picture. We prefer head up dis displays. It allows simplicity, makes it lovely and clear. Now your students watching this, they may or may not be engaged. So we want to engage them. So they're going to be able to use Reality Vote. So as they're watching things that are happening in the scenario, they can make comments, such as like, dislike, good communication, poor communication, and so on. Just like you make comments on Twitter or f f Facebook. As the educator, when you're watching things happening, you might go, oh, that's a really interesting thing that's happening there. You just tap on flag. When you tap on flag, what the system does is it remembers the 10 seconds of footage before you press flag, records the next 20 seconds of footage, and then when you go into debriefing mode at the end of this, it will send that snippet of video over to your facilitator screen. So you've got instant video feedback. You'll see all the vital signs will appear here. You'll see all the voting from your students. So we've got an instant, quick video debriefing system. So, Reality is going to be released on May the 4th this year, so we've got about 90 days to go, and we've got another 18 months of development ready and waiting to deploy with Reality so it will build and build and build over the next two years. Mm -hmm.